Hubert Jolie, Chairman and CEO of Best Buy. Welcome to Stanford in the Industrialist Dilemma. Thank you, Rob. Uh, it's great to have you here. And what I'd love to know is how, why do you think Best Buy has been so successful over the last three to five, seven years when so much in retail has struggled? Well, we've done a number of things. The first thing is we fixed the basic operations. So we ensured our prices were competitive, so we now match mm -hmm. online prices, so no question asked. We vastly improved the online shopping experience, which is where the shopping experience starts. We are shipping as fast of, as Amazon. We've improved the store experience, mm -hmm. investing in the training of the associates. We've done these vendor partnerships. Now all of the tech companies are investing in our stores so that they can showcase you know, their products. We've uh, taken cost out. So we've really improved the basics. And then we went into a second phase, which is we've tried to reinvent the company for the future. So the first phase was Renew Blue. Blue mm -hmm. is the blue shirt. Right. Now it's building the new blue. What do we want to look like when we grow up? And we didn't define the strategy based, oh, we have stores and we sell gadgets. No, we said, what is our purpose in life? We enrich lives through technology by addressing key human needs. Okay. And so this has vastly expanded the opportunities of and what we can do. So we've launched a number of initiatives like the in-home advisor program, right. where we go to your home to see what you need and uh, create a solution for you. We support everything you have in your home, irrespective of where you bought right. it. And then we have a number of initiatives uh, around uh, aging seniors, where we'll help monitor their health so that you know we can help them live longer in their home independently with the help of technology. So we're trying to solve customer problems in a unique way. And so really moving forward and combining you know, the human touch and then the use of technology. That's what we've done. So we're never standing still. We're moving forward. So given that technology won't change and it sounds like Best Buy uh, is going to continue to evolve, if there's three parts to the stool, what I just heard you say. There's online, yes. there's in-home and in-store. Since Best Buy started as an in-store experience, yes. what do you think the in-store experience looks like in retail maybe five, ten years from now? Five, ten years from now, it's hard to know. but. Uh, it's got to change, and the way we've changed it, you know, so, so many of us buy the easy stuff online, mm -hmm. right? And we do the research. So if we're going to take the trouble of going to the store, it's got to be worthwhile. So what does the store, okay, what, what can the stores uniquely do? If you're not sure about what you want, being able to touch, feel, experience the new technology, and then being able to talk to a human being is incredibly valuable. And so. Uh, that's what we do. We are like a mini CES mm -hmm. with experts uh, in the stores. But the stores do more than this. They provide a unique service to the vendors. The vendors, mm -hmm. you know, tech companies, they spend billions of dollars on R&D. They need a place where to showcase this. Otherwise, you know, they, it's hard for them to convince customers to buy the stuff. And then the stores are a unique asset from a supply chain standpoint. Half of our online orders are either picked up in the store, and you can do this in less than an hour, or shipped from the store. And so they're really uh, an asset as well from that standpoint. As you've gone through this transformation, what new skill sets have you had to bring into the company that's different than what you had previously? Uh, we've, so there's, I would say there's two, two types of, there's technical skills that we've had to develop. So clearly uh, data analytics, insights, digital skills, agile, uh, customer experience, uh, design thinking, uh, new skills we've brought from a technical standpoint. And then I think the very important, at least as important, is leadership skills. And we call this purposeful leadership. Mm -hmm. So one of the, uh, I think magic happens in a company like Best Buy is if individuals, the individuals working at the company can connect their search for meaning, the meaning of their life, with the purpose of the company. If they can build human connections with their colleagues and with customers, if they can learn skills, if they can grow, if they can you know, have autonomy, that's where magic happens. As leaders, our role is not to be the smartest person in the room, but it's to create an environment in which you can develop this sense of purposeful leadership. And that's something that uh, I think is so important, and we've, we've been working on that. All right, so you've developed a new customer experience, you've developed new types of uh, culture, yes. and then you've had this push into healthcare, right? You yes. had the, the, the acquisitions of Great Call and Jitterbug. How does that play out? No, generally, people don't think of Best Buy and healthcare. Tell us a little bit about what that does for the company over the next few years. So it's tied to our, uh, our purpose, right? Our purpose is to enrich lives through technology by addressing key human needs. So there's six of them. There's entertainment, of course, mm -hmm. productivity, communication, security, food preparation, and health. And health is a big part of our lives. It's 18% of GDP. There's a big trend in this country as well as around the world, which is the population is aging. And if we use technology 
So what we do is we, we put sensors in people's homes and we monitor their activities of daily living. So sleep, eating, going to the bathroom, and through these sensors and uh, uh, artificial intelligence, we can detect changes in, in behaviors. And then with our care centers, then see what's going on and help you know, uh, uh, trigger an intervention as, as appropriate. So this is an example of thinking outside of the box, literally speaking, because these, this service is not going to be sold in our stores. They're going to be so sold through Kaiser Permanente or United mm -hmm. Health, so through Medicare Advantage players. Uh, and of course, the, the customers will benefit and these insurance companies will benefit because our approach uh, enables a reduction in the healthcare costs for these aging seniors by about 20%. So it's very beneficial. So it's an example of reinventing the company with a customer focus with, you know, in line with our mission and our purpose. All right, last question. If we think about this future where we have many more devices in our homes, smart speakers, everything's connected, how does Best Buy become top of mind for a customer when so many other companies want to be that go-to organization that consumers think about in their yes. connected homes? So here's the scoop. There's not a single home in America that's monobrand. Right? If you take probably Tim Cook's home, there's non-Apple products in his home. Same with Jeff Bezos or Satya Nadella, right? Because no company provides everything. And technology is more and more exciting, but you need a CIO for your home. And I want to be your guy uh, or your gal and uh, help you figure out how c can technology help you live a better life and then uh, help you make sure that things keep going, right? Because if Netflix is not working tonight. Mm -hmm. Is it because of Netflix? Is it the pipe into mm -hmm. the home? Is it the Wi-Fi, the TV, the streaming device? Honey, what is it? Mm -hmm. And we're honey. <laughs> Irrespective of where you bought your products, we have this wonderful offering, Total Tax Support, where $200 per year will support everything you have in your home. So um, Best Buy is a little bit like the Coliseum, mm -hmm. where the gladiators, these big tech companies, come and fight, and we're here on the customer side to help customers figure out what to do with all of this and how to t take advantage of it and, and live a happy uh, life. So we're in the happiness business. You're the trusted partner of the consumer. That's in our aspiration. We want to earn the trust of the customers and become you know, a key uh, partner in their life, uh, their, their key technology partner. That's what we want to do. Awesome. Hubert Jolie, thank you so much for coming to Stanford. Great job with Best Buy. Thank you, Rob. Thanks.